Hello, what's going on everybody? It's Bro, hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how we can assign a function to a variable in Python. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If I could have just a moment of your time, please like, comment, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Hey all, in today's video, I will show you all how we can assign a function to a variable. This video will be a prerequisite for a few videos I have coming up regarding functions. Now let's say we have a function named hello, and all we'll do is print the word hello. And as you know, to call this function, you would type the name of the function followed by a set of parentheses, and this will print the word hello. The set of parentheses that comes after a function's name is the portion that will call the function. If you were to remove that set of parentheses afterwards, we would not in fact call that function. Now with Python, Python will pretty much treat everything as objects, including functions. So there's something I want to show you guys. If I was to print the name of my function hello, what will be displayed is the memory address of this function. This is the memory address of where this function is located within my computer's memory, and it's in hexadecimal. Think of it like a street address, such as 123 fake street. This is the address of where this function is within my computer's memory. And each time that I run this program, this number can change, as you can see here. Now, one thing that we could do, we could assign this address to a variable. Let's say hi equals hello. And be sure that you're not adding that set of parentheses afterwards, because then you would be calling the hello function and returning the result to hi. So hi equals hello, no parentheses. And if I was to print hi, well, the address of hello and hi will be at the same memory address. Both of these numbers are the same. Now, what do you imagine would happen if I was to call the hi function after we assign the memory address of hello to hi? Well, then what we'll end up doing is calling the hello function, even though we're listing that we would like to call the hi function, even though it doesn't exist. So it's as if this hello function has two names. You can either use hello or you can use hi. And let me demonstrate that. So you can call either hello, hi, or both for this example. That's because we're assigning the memory address of hello to this variable of hi, so we could treat hi as a function. It's kind of like an alias where this function has two names. Now here's another demonstration. Let's say that we would like to assign our built-in print function to a variable. So let's say, maybe say, say equals print. And when I say print, I'm referring to the print function. And be sure you're not adding that set of parentheses afterwards. Now, if I need to print something to the console window, I can either use print, like what we've previously been doing, or I could use say, because say has the same memory address. Let's say, perhaps, whoa, I can't believe this works. Surprised face. All right, so we can call the print function by saying the word say say all of this text, and this will print all of this text, well, say all of this text to the console window. Under normal circumstances, I'm not sure why or when you would need to assign the print function to a variable, but you can, and well, that's kind of cool, so I thought I'd show you guys that. So everybody, that's how to assign a function to a variable. Like I said, we'll be building upon this topic, so you want to be sure that you understand this. All right then, well, if you would like a copy of this code, I will post all of this to the comments section down below, but yeah, that's how to assign a function to a variable in Python.